Hello Udemy, I am Shahzad Ahmed from ShakeZ.com and to welcome in lecture number 12. Today we are going to discuss our database and uh, our shop which we are going to create. First of all, we are not going to create the complex e-commerce system. So what is the complex e-commerce system? For the complex e-commerce system, you need to define the complex schema. For instance, if you are designing uh, a web, web application or an e-commerce store like eBay or like Amazon, so you need to define the schema as well. Okay, so this is the basic series. So if so, it's hard to understand for new student the complex schema okay so that's why we are making or we are designing a simple schema for our project for suppose what we need uh, we are going to create or we are creating for suppose just a second okay i'm saying for suppose we have categories categories okay then we have a products then we have models and we have specs first suppose we are creating the electronics uh, and store where you can sell your electronics item so so what are your electronics items so categories in the categories fields you are selling mobiles laptops games etc which is related with electronics item for support tabs and something like this so what are the products for suppose iphone is your product which is okay so iphone is a product first of all uh, lumia is a product or hb hb Provoc is a product okay and uh, what are the models I'm saying model model is iPhone 6s plus for suppose or I'm saying Lumia 1020 or I'm saying HP 45 40s okay so what are the specs for suppose uh, iPhone is coming in 3, three gig RAM and 4 gig RAM 3 GB RAM and 4 GB RAM like this so this is the simple schema so that's why we are going to design this simple schema for our electronics email of oh, sorry for our electronics shop system make sure we are going to create or we are going to define each and every thing which is necessary for your e-commerce store for suppose we are creating categories okay we are adding product we are going to add models we are going to add specs first of all then we can show all of these things from our store make sure we have not created any stores yet uh, but uh, in our later lectures i'm going to design an store because we have downloaded a template a ready-made template from the theme forest so don't worry about it and how can you create your cart system how can you create your checkout system how can you validate your uh, checkout system or how can you add how can uh, you design your f add to favorite system and how can you order your system and how your admin manage all of these things from your admin panel so i am going to define each and everything in this series so that's why first of all we are going to create this type of schema because it's very simple to understand to understand for our uh, beginners uh, students so first of all go to your data grid make sure uh, it's not required 
data grid is not required for this course if you are working on php my admin go to your php you are uh, go to and uh, use your php your admin and create your database using php your admin if you are working on sql yoga it's totally depend upon you which tool you are going to use for your database purpose in this series i am going to use the data grid tool for my php oh uh, sorry for my database designing so we have created e a database named e-commerce okay in the previous lectures we have created admin panel uh, and a simple a single and a simple table admin so now i am going to create a category table then we are going to create the product table then we are going to create the model table then we are going to create the specs table so hit the schema button create table first of all what is the name of table i am saying categories first of all and what are the columns i'm saying that cid is a column integer and i'm saying this is not null auto increment and also this is the primary key so uh, if you are writing if you are uh, writing some comments it totally depend upon you for suppose add category i dot e like uh, phones or laptops it's totally depend upon you okay so second column i'm saying um, category name c name okay this is a watch or field and uh, i think uh, 100 is enough it's not null field and i'm saying c status first of all c status uh, i'm saying this is integer and this is not null required but by default this is it's accepting one okay so i'm saying c date make sure this is the date time field so it's not null field first of all okay so create another if you are adding some category images so you need to create your uh, column so where you can add your image name i'm saying uh, c dp okay c dp this is a wash or field and i think 200 is enough it's totally depend upon you how you are designing your schema database schema so i think and uh, who is adding uh, these uh, this who is adding these things uh, for suppose if you are specifying if you have more than one admin so you can uh, also use uh, admin 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 id so it's uh, integer and it's not null field okay so i'm saying this is the admin id and uh, okay i'm saying execute it so we have just created our category table so create your another table which is product product first of all products okay so this is the products uh, table and uh, i'm saying p id integer not null auto increment primary key and i'm saying p name make sure first letter is small i'm writing second letter is the capital so you can uh, easily understand first uh, p name i'm saying this is war char and i think 200 is enough it's a not null field by the way and uh, i'm saying uh, p status so we can easily manage not null field by default uh, i'm saying this is one and so p date okay date and time not null field of course i'm saying category id because we are going to add category id here so category id integer make sure it's not null field and okay it's not null field first of all so who is adding this who is adding the data i'm saying admin id also here so admin id integer this is not null field so one thing is missing which is dp i'm saying pdp p d capital and p okay i think that is status category okay 
product or, or, or what is the company company name I'm saying P company who is what is the company name of this product who is made uh, making this product or who is delivering this this product I'm saying this is okay 200 first suppose uh, um, iPhone is a product and who is the owner of uh, iPhone I think uh, uh, <laughs> we are saying Mac uh, something like that um, because HP I don't um, HP for suppose ProBook series uh, HP ProBook series 45 this is a product HP ProBook Pro book so who is the honor HP is honor okay so now P company so I'm saying execute it so we have created another table so now what you need you need to define your model for suppose uh, a table so models make sure all letters or capitals models so I'm saying MID integer not null auto increment primary key first of all M name, M name, Warshar 200 model name means, and I'm saying M date, date and time, not null, and I'm saying M status. Okay, so by default status is one, and I'm saying it's not null field. Okay, so I'm saying the product ID because uh, we are creating the relational database we are designing the relational database so product ID who is adding this model I'm saying admin ID so admin ID goes here whenever admin want to insert something here okay it's not null field so admin ID uh, first and MDP because we are adding some images so it's not null field okay so I think name date status product ID admin ID and MDP I think this is enough so execute it we have created our model table and one thing we need a user by the way so create a users table for suppose uh, I'm saying UID integer not null auto increment primary key and I'm saying you name for suppose you first name washer hundred not null you last name you last name washer I'm saying hundred this is also not null I'm saying uh, you email this is washer field and I'm saying I think 100 is enough not null field you password uh, and I think 200 is enough not null field make sure we are sending the link whenever someone want to create the account so I'm saying you Oh, sorry and I'm saying you link okay so I'm saying 200 not null field okay we set to null so you link email password first name last name what is date so you date make sure date and time so this is the not null field and I'm saying you status so we can easily play with status field it's totally by the way it's totally depend upon you either you are creating the stated uh, status column uh, from each and every table or you can separate this column by creating a separate table okay so now uh, by default its value is zero okay so now executed you have created your user table one thing spec so what are specs for suppose so I'm going to explain what are specs so, so it's specs for suppose iPhone is coming with colors what is color red green blue and for suppose uh, silver so four colors so because we are <laughs> because we are creating the relational database so you cannot store four values uh, at the same time so what you need you need to 
create you need to store this information first of all to one table and these four information to another table or in simple words you just need to create a simple table one table and you add this information in one column and these information to another column so it's totally depend upon you it's totally depend upon you how you are designing your schema and what is the requirement i'm going to create uh, two tables for specs first of all and specs values so i'm saying this is specs 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 and i'm saying spid integer not null primary key and i'm saying sp name Varshar and I'm saying hundred is enough not null field and I'm saying sp date date and time not null field and I'm saying sp status and I'm saying integer so its status is by default one and who is adding this I'm saying admin id admin is adding this so not null so uh, I'm saying model ID so model ID so not null field of course model ID okay so model ID here admin ID also here name so what is missing okay something is not missing we are not going to store the image inside the specs uh, so execute it first of all you have created the specs for um, table so now you need to create a new table specs well name specs underscore values for suppose spec values so spid sp spvid integer not null auto increment primary key and i'm saying spv name words are 100 not null and i am saying spid means spec id not null 100 who is adding these things admin id not null so i am saying spec spv spv status integer by default is 1 so i am saying sp v date date and time okay it's not null not null executed so now you have created one two three four five six seven tables so now we have a seven tables and uh, by the way um, it's a simple schema okay so thank you for watching